Welcome to Tally Help videos. In this video, you will understand the process of migrating your company data to Tally Prime Release 3.0. Tally Prime Release 3.0 provides an enhanced and simpler data migration experience. You can track the progress of migration and view a migration summary report to know the statistics related to masters and transactions. Furthermore, the product ensures that you know the updates that happened in company data as a result of migration. First, let us see how to migrate your company data to Tally Prime Release 3.0. Open Tally Prime. As you can see, the companies are listed and you can easily identify the companies that require migration. These are the companies with 5-digit company number compatible to Tally Prime Release 2.1 or earlier releases. Migrating data to Tally Prime Release 3.0 leads to creation of a new company with 6-digit company number along with 0 as the prefix and the same while retaining the original company with 5-digit company number in which the text migrated to 3.0 is added. It eases identification of both the companies. Moreover, it is important to note that the new company with 6-digit company number will not be compatible with the earlier releases. Now, select the company and press Enter. Tally Prime informs you that the company will be migrated as a new company with 6-digit company number along with zero prefix to the existing company number. This change makes the company compatible to Tally Prime Release 3.0. Press C to configure. We recommend you to take a backup before migrating. Now, press R to migrate. As you can see, Tally Prime shows the progress of migration right from the creation of the company with 6-digit company number to migration of masters and then transactions. Once the migration is completed, you get to view a migration summary report. You can see if the migration is successful. Press Alt plus F5 to view the detailed report. And then you can compare the number of masters and transactions before and after migration. Moreover, for voucher types with automatic or multi-user auto-voucher numbering methods, retain original voucher number at the time of insertion or deletion is introduced to ensure that your voucher numbers do not change as a result of such actions. However, you can change it to renumber vouchers in the voucher type alteration screen if needed. Press escape and seamlessly continue to use the company to record your business transactions. After migration, when you select the company from the same folder, you can see both the companies, the 6-digit company number that got created after migration and the whole 5-digit company number that is retained. Now, let us see how it works when there are some exceptions found during migration. Select the company and migrate it. As you can see, the company is migrated with a few exceptions and the migration summary report opens with the detailed view. This report opens in the detailed view so that you can view the number of exceptions that occurred in each master and voucher type. Press Alt plus X or click Repair, Migrate Exceptions to view the exceptions and resolve as needed. Now, let us see what happens when Tally Prime is shut during migration. Tally Prime Release 3.0 ensures that you can continue migration even if Tally Prime is shut during the process. In such cases, open Tally Prime again. You can see continue migration against the company. Press enter on the company. There is a prompt that asks complete migration. Press Y or click yes. As you can see, you can easily continue migration. In a multi-user environment, it may also be possible that you try to migrate a company whose migration is under progress in some other computer. In such cases, you will view a status, migration in progress against the company. 
Now, let's see what happens when you try to migrate your data, but there is no space in the drive of your computer. In case there is not enough space to migrate. When you click migrate, you get an error message, as you can see on the screen. Tally Prime allows you to migrate, once the required free space is available in your computer. Similarly, if you enable backup company data before migration, and the drive in which the backup destination path is located does not have enough free space, then you can update the folder path as the path in a drive which has enough free space. Or you can set backup company data before migration as no. As you saw, Tally Prime Release 3.0 has further simplified the migration of company data as you can identify the status of data, know the stages of migration, and view the migration summary report to know the statistics of masters and transactions. What's more, you can identify exceptions and even continue migration if it gets interrupted. Thank you. To know more about Tally Prime features, visit help.talisalu.